I want to show you in Dreamweaver how to take an internal style and move it externally. That way we can use it on other pages. Now what's an internal style, you ask? <laughs> some of you may ask anyway. If I come to a page I'm working on and I select some text and you know of course we have styles applied and I've got a class here called post text apply to this. Now, If I look over in the CSS styles panel and take a look you're going to be able to see that we've got our external style sheets, main CSS, and I've got a print style sheet here too. And I also have this word style with the post text right there. Now the word style means internal style. That means it's only in this page. As a matter of fact, if I come to the style over here and right click on it, choose go to code, it's going to show me the code in the page and this is in the head section of this page and it'll show me that the style's right there. Now that's fine, it works, it's great. As long as it looks the way I want and everything works, we're good. But suppose I want to use this in another page. Now, I could try and copy paste this, but I'd rather move it externally so I can use it elsewhere. So we can either do this in the code over here by selecting it and right clicking, or if I come to the CSS styles panel, I can take post text here, right click on it after selecting it. If you guys are on Mac, you can also control click, choose move CSS rules. And if you select multiple styles here in the style, you can do that as well. You can actually move it to a style sheet that's attached to this page. So main or print. If you don't want to put it in either one of them, you can browse for another style sheet that happens to be in your site folder or external. You can also create a brand new style sheet out of it. This is a good tip here. If you work in Dreamweaver and you use a lot of styling and you realize that a lot of the things you've done have been in this document only, I've done that before, you can select all those styles and choose to move them to a new style sheet that you attach to this page. That'll make them external and other pages can use them then. So this is one way to do it. I'm going to click cancel. I'm going to show you another way. I'm going to come up here and open up my main CSS for a reason here so we can see all the five bajillion styles here. If we want to, we can also drag styles around in here. And you got to be very careful with this. If I take post text here and drag it up, I can move it into my main CSS, let go. I usually put it at the bottom and it will drag it and put it into the main CSS file. That's pretty cool. So it's, a, it's basically the same thing, moving the style. I could have done that with multiple styles I selected too. Typically, if you're going to take a style like this, you want to drag it to the end of the styling or close to it because of the cascade. Now, you'll also notice that it leaves this style tag behind. If I right-click on that, choose Go to Code, you'll see what it does. It actually left the style tags over here in the code. You can leave them there. You guys, It's not going to kill you, but I like to th keep things neat. Okay, so let me go back to design here. CSS styles. I just come to style here. I could have deleted them in the code, but I'll just come over here. Click the little trash can. And it just gets rid of it for me. So there we go. That's being able to take an internal style and move it externally so we can use it in other pages and for other reasons.